Welcome! This tutorial describes how to set up custom portfolios. Portfolios streamline the process of viewing charts and reports for the markets of greatest interest to you. Portfolios save custom chart and report settings, scan for opportunity settings, and position of charts and reports on the screen. First, I want to show you how a custom portfolio can greatly reduce the time you spend viewing charts and reports each day. In this example, suppose you are a Forex trader and you focus mainly on the Euro US dollar. However, you also find it highly beneficial to review charts from related markets such as the US dollar index, gold, New York light crude oil, and the NASDAQ 100. Begin by opening a portfolio. There are at least two ways to do this. You can right click on the name of the portfolio in the navigation pane and then select open from the drop down menu. Or double left click on the name of the portfolio in the navigation pane. The next step is to open the charts, daily reports, and history reports that you would like to include in this portfolio. To keep this demonstration relatively brief and simple, I will limit it to three markets, the Euro US dollar, New York light crude oil, and gold. I will now open charts for these three markets. Now for the Euro US dollar, I'm going to open the chart twice because I want to view charts with different indicators side by side and I'm also going to open a report because the daily report is instrumental in my analysis. I opened up all the charts and reports that I need for now so I can hide the navigation pane to free up some screen space. To do this, click hide on the toolbar. Next, I want to configure my chart, customizing them with the selection of indicators that I need for my trading. I left click on the tab to select one of the Euro US dollar charts, right click anywhere on the chart and select properties. I want to put on a slightly different selection of indicators on one chart so that I can compare it side by side with the other selection of indicators. I'll select high and low price, remove the neural index, and include the short-term and medium-term differences. I click OK to apply these new settings and exit the chart property screen. I have one more goal that I want to accomplish, and that is the side-by-side -side viewing of the two Euro US dollar charts with the Euro US dollar daily report. And to accomplish that, I just set up a new horizontal tab group and then a new vertical tab group. And now you can see I can view each chart and the daily report at the same time. I now have this portfolio set up exactly the way that I want it. I now want to close this portfolio and to do that I click portfolio on the main menu and then select close from the drop down menu. Vantage Point detects that I made changes to the default portfolio and asks if I would like to save these changes. I click Yes to save the changes. I now open the portfolio and you'll notice that Vantage Point automatically opens up all the reports and charts that I had open previously, applies the custom selection of indicators, and restores the tab groups. So this is one way of showing you how you can use the portfolio to streamline your daily viewing of charts and reports. You can create any number of custom portfolios. To create a new portfolio, do a single right click in the portfolio window, Select New from the drop-down menu, 
and now we see new portfolio appears in the list. Type the desired name in the box. And then click enter on your keyboard. So you can see that it's very easy to add portfolio names to the list. Now take a look at the energies portfolio. You can see that the, the book to the left of this, the icon, appears to be open, indicating that this is the portfolio that is open at this time. And also the title bar displays the word energies. And this is another way of seeing which portfolio is currently open. You can go to this open portfolio and then fill it with the, the charts, daily reports, history reports that you desire and apply whatever customization options you would like. Take a look at the icon to the left of default portfolio and you can see that there is a small green check mark to the left of this portfolio. This indicates that the default portfolio will open automatically each time you open Vantage Point. It is possible to reassign the default startup portfolio to any of one of the portfolios in your list. For example, the energies portfolio. To do this, do a single right click on this portfolio and then select Set Startup from the drop down menu. Vantage Point will now automatically open the energies portfolio each time you close and reopen the program. Of course, you don't have to have any portfolio assigned as a set startup portfolio. You can clear this, and to do that again, right click on the portfolio, and then select Clear Startup from the drop down menu. And now you can see the list of portfolio names. There is not a green check mark to the left of any of them, so that indicates that none of these portfolios will open by default the next time Vantage Point opens. You can also rename a portfolio. Again, right click on the name of the portfolio, choose Rename from the drop-down menu, type in the new desired name, and then press the Enter key on your keyboard. You may also delete a portfolio Again, right-click on the name of the portfolio that you would like to delete, and then select Delete from the drop-down menu. Vantage Point will ask if you are sure that you want to delete this portfolio, and again, you want to choose wisely. Click No to exit the screen without deleting the portfolio. If you really want to delete the portfolio, click Yes. Please be careful when you choose to delete a portfolio. Because there is not a way to restore a portfolio after it is deleted, you would have to go through all the steps to recreate the portfolio. On a related note, be careful when you're saving changes to a portfolio. Because what you see on your screen when you save the changes is exactly what you're going to get back the next time you open the portfolio. I'll show you an example of what I mean.